Praise the Lord. You know, today as we came to church in the morning, my heart was grateful. Because there are nations where churches are not gathering in this season. They are desiring to be in a place where we are at. But they are not able. And you know many times we take every Sunday for granted. I've always walked in here and I've thought it's okay, it's business as usual. But today as we lifted our hands in worship I was very grateful Because I knew it has taken the Lord for us to be here Amen And uh, before we get to the word I just want us to uh, I want to read us something From the book of uh, Mark chapter 4 verse 35 Kabla tuingie katika ujumbe nataka kuomba kusome katika Mark if we can get it in the message version Mark chapter 5 katika message version You know since this issue since the day when uh, it was confirmed that there's one person who was tested positive in Kenya Tangu siku nijua kuna mgonjwa amepatikana wa coronavirus Kenya Things have not been going the usual way uh, Mambo hayaenda vile huenda kawaida like for those of us who love hugging like Maureen, my sister. You feel like something is missing. You've been shaking your hands. And now as you're passing, you go like... And it was something that was eating me up yesterday. And to know that there was a prayer meeting that was supposed to be at Uhuru Park that has been cancelled. I told the devil you are a liar. This was supposed to be a national day of prayer for the nation. But now it has been cancelled. And many other things that have been cancelled. And so I kept thinking about it the whole day. And uh, the Lord gave me this scripture yesterday. In the night. If you can just project it for us. Aha. It says, let that day he said to them, let's go across to the other side. Verse 36. They took him in the boat as he was. Other boats came along. A huge storm came up. Waves poured into the boat, threatening to sink it. And Jesus was in the stern, head on a pillow, sleeping. They roused him saying, teacher, is it nothing to you that we are going down? Na Yesu alikuwa pale chini amelala na ameweka pilo na wanamuuliza, "Je, mwalimu wewe haiku haiku stui ya kwamba karibu tuangamia?" Uh-huh, 39. Awake now. He told the wind to pipe down and said to the sea, "Quiet, settle down." The wind ran out of breath. Mark that word. The re- wind ran out of breath and the sea became smooth as glass. Amka sasa na akaamuru ile upepo uondoke na akanena kwa ziwa akaliambia litulie na akaambia upepo na uache kupumua na ziwa likawa limetulia. Jesus reprimanded the disciples, why are you such cowards? Don't you have any faith at all? Na Yesu akawangalia mitume wake na akawashtumu akauliza nyinyi mmeogopa nini kwani hamuna imani hata kidogo and they were in absolute awe staggered who is this anyway they asked wind and sea at his back and call na wakawa wamestaajabu sana mpaka wanaulizana naye huyu kwani ni nani mpaka upepo Na ziwa, lina mti. 
You know, it was until Jesus had given them the word, let us go to the other side of the lake, that the wind started bringing trouble. Ni pale Yesu alipoamrisha mitume wake waende ngambo ya ziwa ndio nao garika ilianza. And it was until Jesus gave us a word, restoration and demonstration that locusts swam in and that now we are having coronavirus. Let me tell you. Eh eh did you uligundua ya kwamba ni mpaka Mungu alipotupatia neno ya kwamba ni mwako wa urejesho na kudhihirisha Zige zimeingia katika nchi yetu tena sasa coronavirus. This coronavirus will lose will run out of breath. Hii hey, coronavirus itapungukiwa na pumzi. You know when something runs out of breath it dies. Ah uh, chochote ambacho kinawacha kupumua hufa. When something gives up the ghost it is dead. Eh uh, chochote kile kinatoa uh, uhai yake huwa imekufa. And so We have the master in the boat with us. Na kwa hivyo tuelewe kwamba Bwana yunasi katika marekebisho yetu. And if he is resting, I will rest. Na akiwa yeye amepumzika mpaka amelala nami pia nitapumzika. Be encouraged. Jipata jitie moyo is running out of breath. Aha, hii garika hii wind inaweza inaweza kupoteza pumzi yake. They are saying one month it won't even take a month. Anaongea juu ya mwezi mmoja tunatangaza haitachukua hata mwezi mmoja. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was just a, a, a by the way. Hiyo ilikuwa ni neno la kuhimiza. I'd like us to look at uh, our message for today. Ningetaka tuangalie uh, uh, message yetu jioni ya leo. Patriotism. <laughs> Hiyo kuwa patriotic. Belonging. Kuwa una pahali wewe una unaitanishwa una napo. Now human beings are created with a desire to belong. Binadamu wameumbwa na ile tamaa na hitaji ya kuwa wewe una pahali unaita nyumbani. You and I are created with that deep desire to belong somewhere. Wewe nami tumeumbwa na hiyo tamaa. That's the reason why when children are playing at a very tender age and the, the other children do not play want to play with another they get frustrated. Na ndio utakuta hata watoto wakiwa wachanga wanapocheza pamoja na watoto wengine ni kama wanamtenga hawataki kucheza naye inawavunja moyo. Because deep inside of us there is always a desire to be a part, a desire to fit in. Ni sababu ndani mwetu kunayo ile tamaa na haja ya kuwa kuna yule unaunganishwa naye. And yes we pursue our education, we pursue credentials, we can be called doctor, we can be called professor, we can be called many things, but many things. But even when we have those high levels of credentials, we still desire to belong. Aha, na hata ingawa tutasoma tuitwe madaktari, tuitwe profesa ama tuwe na mengi tunayotenda, ile ile tamaa ya kuunganishwa na kuitanishwa na mtu fulani ama kikundi fulani bado iko. And that's the reason you will find a man who has really gone to the highest heights of education. They have acquired the education that is available in the land, but you still find them in the bar. Aha ndio utakuta mtu amesoma ame, amepata degree zote lakini bado utampata katika uh, ba na kunywa pombe. Why because they want a people around them. They want to feel a sense of belonging. Ni sababu wanatafuta wale ambao wanaweza kuita kikundi chao. And the desire for acceptance and belonging supersedes every other desire in our lives. Na ile tamaa ama haja ya kuwa kuna kikundi ambacho unaitanishwa nayo inakuwa iko juu ya kila jambo katika maisha. Now this desire presents itself in in two ways. Na hii hujionyesha katika jia mbili. The first one is the vertical one. Ya kwanza ni ile ya the vertical. Ya yeah, ya kuelekea juu. We always have a God-shaped vacuum inside of our hearts that can only be filled by God himself. Ndani yangu na ndani yako kunayo sehemu katika mioyo yetu ambayo imechukua umbo la Mungu na ni Mungu tu peke yake aweza akaijaza. And so each human being desires to have a supreme being, some being that he considers more superior than them that they always want to worship. Na kwa hivyo kila binadamu anatamani kuwe kuna huyo ambao yuko juu yake ambaye anaweza kuabudu. 
praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And that is why in Psalms chapter 73 verse 25, it says something like this, there is nothing on earth I desire besides you. Ehe katika Zaburi 73 mwandishi akasema hakuna kitu ambacho mimi natamani zaidi yako wewe. We desire to commune with God. Tunatamani kuwa tuna tunaasiliana naye Mungu. We desire to be identified by him. Tuna tunatamani awe anatutambua. But in as much as this desire is true, na hata ingawa hii hii haja ni ni ya kweli, we still have a second desire which is what I want to measure on today. Tunayo ile sababu ya pili ama tamaa ya pili ambayo nataka kuangazia zaidi leo. We always desire to belong to one another. Ehe kuna ile haja ya kutaka ku kuwa tumeshikamana moja na mwingine because we are relational beings ni sababu katika hali yetu sisi ni watu wa kuhusiana we are social beings sisi ni watu wa kuishi pamoja and most still as africans we are collective beings na zaidi kama waafrika sisi unganika kwa kikundi kikubwa that is the reason why if we are being told we don't have public gatherings we are struggling deep inside of us even though we know it is for our safety ndio sababu tunashangaa serikali inaposema hatuwezi kukutana tunashindwa sisi kabisa itawezekana when we are being told i cannot shake somebody's hand or i cannot hug them i am struggling not because i want to disobey but because naturally i am wired in a collective way ndio sababu ninapoambua siwezi nikamkumbatia dadangu ama kumsalimia ndani yangu kuna vita ni sababu hivyo ndivyo nimeumbwa that is the way god has created us hivyo ndivyo wewe And God knew and understands this truth about the human being he created. Na Mungu alielewa kuhusu ili jambo juu ya binadamu aliyemuumba. That's why after he created Adam and he placed him in the garden of Eden, ndio sababu baada ya kumuumba Adam na kumuweka katika shamba la Edeni, he looks at Adam and realizes there's something that is not good there's something that is not complete alimtazama adam na akaelewa huyu binadamu hajakamilika kunalo jambo bado halijakamilika and so in genesis chapter 2 verse 18 he says it is not good that man should be alone na ndio sababu katika mwanzo 2:18 asema sio vyema binadamu kuishi peke yake and immediately he starts uh, thinking of how to ensure this man that he has created in his own image can have a companion na mara pale akawa na mpango ya kumtafutia ambaye atakuwa ni Uh, ni mwenzake katika ile shamba was it that god was not enough for adam ni kumaanisha mungu hakutosha adam no la but god was only able to fill in the god shaped vacuum that was inside of him but not the man shaped vacuum that ni was inside of him ni sababu katika adam mungu aliweza tu kujaza ile nafasi ilikuwa ni ya kiungu when, lakini ile ya binadamu ilikuwa bado iko wazi when god is telling adam it is not good for man to be alone he is not speaking to someone who is a sinner he is not speaking to adam at the point when his heart had been dimmed dark with sin no he was still ha- having fellowship with god aha mungu anaposema ya kwamba si vyema haya huyu mwanaume kuishi peke yake katika ili shamba si ni kwamba sio kwamba adam alikuwa ametenda dhambi ama moyo wake umejazana na mambo alikuwa ni yule yule tu binadamu walikuwa na ushirika na mungu lakini bado mungu akasema sio vyema huyu mume kuishi peke yake and so every evening in the cool of the day god would still appear and he would be communicating with adam from time to time but he still noticed that it is not good for adam to be alone kila jioni katika wakati wa kivuli Uh, Mungu angetembea katika ile shamba na wanashirikiana na kuwa na uhusiano na Adamu lakini bado akawa na lile neno ikawa sio vyema. In other words, Adam's being alone was both not good for Adam himself and for God. Aha. Na hii ni kumaanisha kule ule upweke 
wake Adamu ulikuwa mbaya kwake mwenyewe na hata kwa Mungu. Why? Because one human being cannot enjoy God as much as many humans put together. Aha. Ni sababu ukiwa peke yako binadamu huwezi ukamfurahia Mungu kama vile tukikusanyika pamoja tunaweza kupata ile furaha pamoja. Why am I saying that? It's because when I meet with the, the members of my cell, when I meet with these sisters in the ladies group, I'm able to tell them what the Lord did for me during the week and together we are able to lift our voices and praise the King of Kings. Nani natangaza ni sababu napokutanika na wanasel ama ile group ambao mimi huenda tunapoongea na ninapowatolea ushuhuda yale Mungu ametenda tunaweza za kusherekea na kumsifu Mungu pamoja na inakuwa ni zaidi kuliko nikiwa peke yangu. And so when we are being told to be church riotic like we were being told in the celebration service it is not just a form or a rule that is coming from Deliverance Church Kasarani no it is the expectation of God he wants us to enjoy him together as sisters and as brothers for the sake of the few brothers who are in here aha kwa hivyo watu kama vile tulikuwa tunafunzwa katika celebration service tunapoambiwa tu ya church riotic sio tu kwa manufaa yetu peke yetu ni katika manufaa yetu na hata ya Mungu ili pamoja tunaweza kumuinua Bwana. And that's why God models for us this when he says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and he speaks to himself God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit three in one he says let us make man in our mm-hmm. own image. And the Lord my Bwana mwenyewe anadhihirisha hili jambo. Anapoongea katika mstari wa 26 uh, mwanzo moja ase, a, 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 lesha akiongea juu yake yeye Mungu Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu naasema ebu na sasa tumuumbe binadamu kwa mfano wetu if he was not after community then he would have stood on his own and said let me make man in my own image ikiwa hakutamani umati basi angesema wacha mimi ni muumbe binadamu kwa mfano wangu or better still he would have said let there be a human being and the human being would still have come to be ah na hata tena na katika nguvu zake angesema na binadamu azuke na azuke ni sababu ya ni mungu but because he's modeling for us he's saying let us make man in our image lakini kwa sababu alikuwa anatutolea mfano mwema anasema Ebu sisi tuumbe binadamu kwa mfano wetu. In other words the image of God is that of unity in a community. Yaani tunaona ni kwamba mfano mwema ni ule wa kushikamana na kuishi katika uh, community. He is three but one. Yeye ni mmoja lakini ajidhirisha ajidhirisha katika tatu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so God desires that we be in a community where you belong and I belong. Na Mungu atamani ya kwamba tuwe katika uh, familia ama jamii ambao wewe una wewe ni wapale na mimi tena ni wapale. Irrespective of the communities that we came from because of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you and I we become one and so you belong and I belong. Aha bila kujali wewe ulitoka wapi na mimi nilitoka wapi lakini kwa ajili ya damu ya Kristo ambayo imetuunganisha pamoja tunakuja pamoja wewe una pahali pako nami ni pahali pangu katika ule umati And hence creating a community of believers Na kwa hivyo tunaumbika tukiwa ni ni kikundi cha walioamini wa Kristo Now what is a community then Sasa tuulize jamii ni nani a community is a feeling of fellowship with others. Aha. Jamii ni ile kuhisi umoja na ushirika pamoja na wengine. As a result of sharing common attitudes, interests and goals. Ikiwa ni uh, matunda ya kuwa tunashiriki katika um uh, in common attitudes. Tukiwa na ile ni attitude Mwene si moja <laughs> interests uh, tama zile zinafanana and goals na tukiwa tuna, tuna ile ha, mwelekeo tena goal moja ama lengo. mwisho moja lengo moja praise the name of the lord amen in other words as the community of deliverance church international kasarani there is that which puts us together kwa, kwa maneno ma, mengine ni kwamba kama jamii ya DCIKZ 
Kuna yale mambo ambao hutuunganisha pamoja. The first and the most important being the fact that we have received the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I belong now to a family of the tribe of the Lion of Judah. Aha, ya kwanza ni kwamba wewe nami tumemkubali Yesu Kristo, tumeoshwa na damu yake na tumefanyika wa jamii ya Kristo ambayo imeoshwa na damu ya kondoo. And just, just in case you are here and you've not yet received the Lord, the altar is open today you can enlist yourself and become a part of this family. Na ikiwa uko mahali pale na hujawahi kumpokea Kristo, madhabahu imefunguliwa unaweza kumokea Kristo na ukaingia katika ile jamii ya Yesu. Now the second interest that puts us together is that as a community we have a vision. Aha, ya pili ni kwamba kama jamii ya DCIKZ tuko na maono. Now what's a vision? A vision is an aspired future. Aha, na maono ni nini? Maono ni yale ambayo tunayatamani siku za uzoni. In other words, for now we are here, but when we look at five years to come or ten years to come, there is a place where we want to be. There is a way we need to look like. Kumaanisha ya kwamba hata ingawa leo tuko hapa, kunapo pali tunayelekea. Na katika miaka tano kumi jayo, tunajua tutakuwa pali. And that vision is stated very clearly, even in our bulletin. It says, our vision vision statement is a dynamic purpose driven church transforming lives aha na hiyo maono ni imedhihirika na imeandikwa katika kiratasi chetu cha bulletin na sijui kama tunasoma mko nayo aha inasemaje vision a dynamic purpose driven church transforming life yani hii ni kanisa iliyo hai Inayo lengo ina mwelekeo na kazi yake ni kugeuza maisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So wherever you are, wherever you are working from Monday to Friday, one thing that is sure about you who is a part of this family is that you will endeavor to do things that are causing transformation of lives wherever you are. Kwa hivyo pahali pale popote utakuwa kuanzia Jumatatu mkufikia Jumapili kile unachofanya kinastahili kuwa wewe kazi yako ni kuadhiri maisha na kuyabadilisha and so when mom tells us that we need to invite visitors we are not inviting visitors because we are doing her a favor kwa hivyo mama uh, uh, mama yetu anapotuambia tuwe tunaalika wageni sio sababu awaone tu afurahie Apana. We are right stepping right into the vision and by bringing people in to our church and into this kingdom what we are in essence doing is transformation of lives. Aha. Tunapowalika na kuwaruhusu waingie katika jamii yetu watutembelee. Ile ambao tunahidhiriisha ni kwamba tunabadilisha yale maisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why is a community important? Ni kwa nini jamii ni muhimu? Because in a community of believers you are able to share with one another various things like number one, you can share testimonies of what God is doing in your life. Ni sababu katika jamii kuna mambo unaweza shirikiana na moja yao ni ile unatoa ushuhuda ni yapi Mungu anatimiliza katika maisha yako. And you know the Bible says in the book of Revelations that they overcame him overcame who overcame the enemy by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the lamb. Katika kitabu cha ufunuo lasema ya kwamba walimshinda walimshinda nani shetani katika uh, kinywa uh, ushuhuda wa kinywa chao na damu ya, ya mwana kondoo. So when we meet in our small groups and we are sharing testimonies what we are doing is that we are causing the other people who who are discouraged the other person who is discouraged to know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly if he did it for pastor Millicent he can do it for me and hence we are defeating and overcoming the enemy kwa hivyo ninapotoa ule ushuhuda na waweka moyo ambao alivunjika ambao alikuwa amevunjika moyo na unajitia ama ukijua ikiwa alimtendea pastor na hata nami anaweza kunitendea na tunapoendelea kushuhudia na kutendewa tunamshinda shetani katika yale maneno ya ushuhuda wetu and you know when we walk into this church on a sunday tunapoingia katika hili kanisa uh, jumapili the congregation is so big you might not get a chance to come and stand here and share of your testimony aha ile makutano yetu na kuwaga ni tuko 
wengi inawezekana hutaipata nafasi kusimama katika madhabahu na kutoa ushuhuda. And so those small groups that God has given us in this church are the groups that will enable us to share of the goodness of the Lord from time to time. And you know when you share of a testimony that God has doing what you have been, has been doing as people say amen what is in essence happening is that you're giving God another chance to do it again and again. Aha kwa hivyo tunapokutanika katika zile vikundi ndogo na tunatoa ushuhuda tunaweka muhuri unaposema amen kusikia vile Mungu ametenda ni kama tunampa nafasi tena ya kuendelea kutenda makuu hata miongoni mwetu. And so if I walked into that group meeting and I had what God has done and I have been struggling I can go to the place of prayer with confidence knowing that God answers prayer and I can now exercise my faith and wait on him to do something for me. Kwa hivyo iko niliingia katika ushirika nimevunjika mbona nikasikia huo ushuhuda yale Mungu ametenda. Basi nitaingia mahali pangu pa maombi na nitamuita Mungu wa pasta aliyemtendea naye aweze kunitendea na nikijua itatendeka. The other thing that we share in the small groups when we meet is we pray together. You are able to share of your prayer items and there's somebody who will take it with such a burden pray for you right there and pray for you as they go home Jambo la tatu ambalo hutendeka katika vikundi zetu ndogo ni kwamba tunaweza kuombea moja kwa mwingine unatoa ile hitaji yako na unajua kuna mtu atashirikisha ile ile hitaji katika maombi mbele zake Mungu Praise the name of the Lord Amen. Whereas it's very difficult to come and stand here before 2000 people and tell them you do not have unga in your house Aha, unajua ni vigumu sana hey. kusimama hapa celebration service macho karibu ya watu 2000 wanakuangalia na unawaambia una unga in a smaller group of few sisters you can be able to whisper to somebody and tell them this is what i am going through you are able to open yourself and be bare before them and they'll be able to assist nikiwa group 6 mtaweza kuambia mimi sina unga watoto hajaenda shule na wataomba na watanipatia hata unga wakiwa wako nayo and so we not only share prayers but we can also share in kind as indicated in the book of acts chapter 2 from verse 42 to 47 if it can be projected for us walivyo sio tu kuomba lakini hata kutoania na kupeana moja kwa mwingine kulingana na zile haja tuko nazo kama vile tunanakiriwa katika kitabu cha mitume mbili kuanzia 42 kwenda 47 This is what the Bible says Na they devoted themselves sema. to the apostles teaching and to fellowship Wa- to the breaking of bread and to prayer wakajitoa na wakawa wamejitolea katika uh, mafunzo ya mitume na hata uh, ule ushirika wao kwa kula mkate pamoja na hata katika maombi those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3000 were added to their number that day aha waliokubali ile uh, message yao walikuwa wali baptized na karibu watu elfu tatu ile siku wakaongezewa katika kikundi chao with many other words he warned them and he pleaded with them save yourselves from this corrupt generation you need 40 give us 43 you've gone back everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles kila mmoja akawa na uoga wakiona matendo makuu na miujiza iliyotendwa na mitume 44 all the believers were together and had everything in common walioamini walikuwa pamoja na walikuwa na shiriki kila kitu pamoja they sold property and possessions to give everyone who had need na wakauza mali yao na wakapeana na wakagawanya kulingana na kila mtu vile alikuwa anahitaji every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts they broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts aha kila siku walikutanika pamoja katika hekaru tena walikutanisha katika uh, boma zao wakikula pamoja wakiwa wamejaa furaha katika mioyo yao praising god and enjoy the fa- enjoying the favor of all the people and the lord added to their number daily those who were being saved wakimsifu mungu na kufurahia ile uh, uh, kibali kutoka kwa kila mtu naye bwana akaongezea nambali yao kila siku vile walikuwa wanaendelea kuokoka that was the model of the early church hiyo ndio ilikuwa mfano wa kanisa ambalo they met in the temple walikutana kwa hekaru but they also met from home to home 
And it is within the homes that bread was being broken. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And so you share in testimonies, you share in prayers, you share in meals, and you share in fellowship. How are you able to do this? Because in a family, the family setup is the safest place where you can be all that you are. Aha, ni sababu katika hii hali tuko katika hali ya kijamii. Na hapa ndipo pahali panafaa, pahali ambapo pa safe unaweza kuwa vile ulivyo na ukae vile. You cannot be afraid when you are in your family. Huwezi ukahofu wakati uko katika jamii yako. There are things that can only be done in the Kaunda's home when we are four of us. Aha, kunayo mambo ambayo itafanyika tu katika jamii ya Kaunda wakati wako waine tu peke yao. But when we know you are visiting, we become the best of who we are. Na tukijua unakuja kututembelea, <laughs> tutakuwa wale wazuri vikupita kiasi. But my children know that they can behave in a certain way when we are all of us as family and get away with it. Lakini watoto wangu waelewa kwamba wanaweza kuwa vile wangetaka tukiwa na baba yao lakini wako safe ni sababu wako katika jamii. Because that is the family. Ni sababu hiyo ndiyo jamii. And in this family when you are able to get into the smaller groups you can become just who you are without really being bothered because you are in a safe environment. Na katika hii jamii itakupa nafasi ya kujidhihirisha wewe ni nani bila kuhofu watafikiriaji. I was looking at the MC today and the dance he had here. Nilimwangalia uh, master wa ceremony na, na ile vile ali, ali dance hapa and i love morin because morin makes this family exciting mimi nampenda dada morin sababu anafanya hii jamii kusisimua sana she is just herself yeye yeah, tu anakuaga ni morin ikifika birthday ya mtu anaweza mletea mnyonyi yeah. when it your birthday she might as well bring you a milk a feeding bottle why because this is family ni sababu hii ni jamii. If today she was to visit another church, let me give an example sita. Maizienda huko na mnyonyi. Aha. Akatembelea <laughs> hii church yetu sister church iko tu hapa sita Mvika Road. Haizi beba mnyonyi apeleke huko. Is it because they are not born again? No, they are born again. Ni kumaanisha wajaokoka apla hasa wameokoka ni kweli. But that's a different family unit. Lakini ile ni jamii ingine tofauti. In this family she can be able to be all that she is without Katika being afraid. Katika hii jamii anaweza kuwa morin bila kuhofu chochote. And how I pray that every sister under the sound of my voice here today will be able to fit in so that you can be counted you can belong you can be a part of this awesome family na maombi yangu ni kwamba kila mmoja anayesikia sauti yangu utaweza kukaa na kuconnect kwa hii jamii na ukue wewe ujidhirishe mwenyewe wewe praise the name of the lord amen because we have been grafted ni sababu sisi tumezalishwa into the true vine katika mzabibu ulio wa kweli and so the day we gave our lives to Christ and we walked right into those doors and we said we wanted to become a member there are privileges that we received but there were also responsibilities Aha, that were given tangu siku tulipookoka alafu tukaingia na yule lango na tukaamua sisi ni washirika wa hii jamii kunazo privileges simnaelewa privileges <laughs> <laughs> that we receive things that only family members are able to receive like my children have privileges in my house aha watoto wangu wanazo zile privileges katika nyumba yangu when they come into the house and they are hungry they do not have to sit at a corner of a seat and cry they can get to the fridge and get out aha, food and eat aha kwa boma na ni wa, 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 wa Hawawezi keti kwa kakona na wakaanza kulia ati wanasihisi ja wataingia kwa fridge na ikiwa kuna chakula chachukua bila kuomba ruhusa na wataiweka moto na wakule That is not the same thing you would do if you visited me. Na unajua huwezi fanya hivyo kwa kina Kaunda. And so in this house, na kwa hivyo katika hii nyumba, we are daughters in this house. Sisi ni uh, ni mabinti katika hii nyumba. There are privileges that we have. 
Kunazo privileges abazo tunazo. That the servants of God in the house can prophesy in our lives. Ya kwamba watumishi wa Mungu waweza tabiri ndani ya maisha yetu. That they can pray healing in our lives. Wanaweza kuomba uponyaji ndani ya maisha yetu. That they can release blessings upon our lives. Wanaweza achilia baraka ndani ya maisha yetu. Those are privileges that only this daughter seated here are able to enjoy. Hizo ni privileges za mabinti ambao wameketi hapa peke yao. Not people who are outside there. Sio wale wanapita kule kwa barabara. Because these privileges have been given to us by virtue of us being daughters. Ni sababu tunapokea hizi kwa ajili sisi ni mabinti. But there are times we miss out. Lakini kuna saa zingine si hukosa. Because we are not found where we are supposed to sababu be. Sababu hatukui pahali tunapostahili kuwa. When we were growing up and I believe those who are my age and above families were huge tulipokuwa tuna tunakuwa miaka yetu jamii ilikuwa ni kubwa and so meal times you had to be available na wakati wa, wa kula ilikubidi wewe ukwe nyumbani because mom had to place uh, the plates and then anagawa chakula yeah. <laughs> mama alikuwa anapanga sahani na simehesabiwa na anaanza kupakua usipopatikana Aha, if you are not around na lako haliko. Ehe, utakaa bila. Someone reckons with me here. Kuna mmoja anaweza. You had to be there. Lazima ungekuweko ili ukule. So that you can eat and we knew it fully well. We could never delay when it came to meal time. Natulielewa na tulijua vyema. Kwa hivyo wakati wa mulo ukifikia tunarudi karibu na boma. Because again it was not in plenty. Na tena haiko inapatikana rahisi. Kwa hivyo ukikosa umekosa. And you know in this house you must be where you are supposed to be at any one time. Na katika hii jamii nataka uelewe kwamba unastahili ujue unastahili kuwa pahali pale unastahili wakati unaostahili. So that you can receive of your blessings. Ili na wewe uweze kupokea ile baraka yako. It might be that today a Sunday our dad or our mom have stood here and the Lord has given them a word that you've been praying for over the years and he has given them this word for the 15th of March 2020 but you you are not here ulikuwa umeenda kudoea kuingine. Aha. Inawezekana mama ama dad wamesimama hapa siku kama ya leo na anatoa unabii, ananena neno juu ya jambo umeombea miaka, miezi, lakini wewe na hauko ulienda kudodea kwa kudodea, eh? Ni kudodea kudodea. Kudoea. Kudoea kwa wewe. Kudoea is a shame word. Ah, you You know. Unaenda kudodea huko So you end up missing of your blessing. Kwa hivyo unakosa zile baraka zako. You might say you will listen to it on YouTube. Ah, unaweza kuniambia utaisikiza kwa YouTube. But YouTube will not come with the anointing that was on this altar. Haya, yasikia hii. YouTube inaga hiyo anointing inatokaka kwa hii altar. It praise never the, the same. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So we must endeavor to be where we are supposed to be. Kwa hivyo ni juu yako na juu yangu kuwa pahali ambapo tunastahili kuwa. Maybe they were given this word and they decided because we are a huge number. They decided to divide it to these ladies who have been uh, given a responsibility of being coordinators. So it has been carried into the group. But you you decided you cannot belong to us. Aha, inaweza kana hata ujumbe sio kanisa lote ni ya viongozi wa vikundi vya wanadada na mama mama dada wameamua leo tunakutana na wana coordinator sababu tuko na neno juu yao na wewe unaamua mimi leo business na kaa ndio inabamba ina, ina siwezekani sitapatikana ama ulienda tu kutembea <laughs> Now Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 in message Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. Wa Efeso 2:19 katika version ya message. This is what the word of God says. I loved this. It says that's plain enough. He was speaking about something there before. So he says that's plain enough, isn't it? You are no longer wandering exiles. Tell your neighbor you are no longer a wandering exile. Ya kwamba hii ni wazi kabisa, si ndio? Wewe sio mgeni tena unalandaranda hapa na pale. Mm, ile wanaitaka tanga tanga. Eh, usitanga tange hapa na pale. <laughs> now this kingdom of faith is now your home country. Wow, huu falme wa imani umefanyika nyumbani 
kwenu. You are no longer strangers or outsiders. Wewe sio mgeni ama mtu wa kukaa nje. You belong here. Wewe ni wa hapa. Hebu ambia jirani yako you belong here. Wewe ni wa hapa. Let's go on. Usitoe you belong here. With as much right to the name Christian as anyone as anyone. Aha. God is building a home. He is using us all. <laughs> he is using us all irrespective of how we got here. <laughs> My friend, irrespective of how we got here. Hata ingawa tumepata jina la Kikristo kama mwingine yote, Mungu anatujengea mboma. Na anatumia wote. Na haijalishi wewe ulijipataje hapa in what he is building verse 20. Jengo ambalo analijenga. Verse 20. Um, mstari wa 20. He used the apostles and prophets for the foundation. Now he is using you. Fitting you in brick by brick. Stone by stone. With Christ Jesus as the cornerstone. Yesu Kristo mwenyewe akiwa ndiwe jiwe la pembeni oh, that holds all the parts together we see it taking shape day after day uh-huh. a holy temple built by God Hili jiwe la pembeni ndio la tushikanisha shikanisha kila sehemu pamoja na tunaiona ikijengeka siku kwa siku nayo ni hekaru takatifu ambayo limejengwa na Mungu mwenyewe All of us built into it <laughs> Wote tume, uh, 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 tumejengeka katika ile tempo. A tempo in which God is quite at home. Aha, hekaru ambao Mungu wetu ajihisi nyumbani. The Bible reminds us that we are no longer wandering exiles. Eh, tumekumbushwa na Biblia kwamba sisi sio watu wa kutanga tanga hapa na pale. A wandering exile leo yuko hapa, kesho amesikia <laughs> kuna Nigeria mwingine yuko tao yuko huko. Alafu akasikia kuna muindi sijui wapi akamkimbilia huko. You know a wandering exile. Um, exile, unaelewa exile ni nani? Mukimbizi. <laughs> Amesikia leo ako zima man lakini akasikia kuna ndugu mwingine ametoka Sudan ako Kibera anaenda kumtafuta atena wakiwa pale wanasikia kuna mwingine ako dadabu wanatembea pale wanasikia kuna mwingine nyeri sasa wamekuwa kazi yao ni kutanga tanga ni sababu hapa si nyumbani tuelewe no the bible says you and i belong here lakini biblia imetueleza waziwazi ya kwamba wewe nami sisi kwetu nyumbani ni wapi because our portion of inheritance is in this house. Na ni sababu ridhi wetu uko wapi? And it does not matter how you got here or what baggages you came carrying, it does not matter. Na ijalishi uliingia aje ulikujaje ulikuja umebeba na aje wewe tayari uko hapa? The fact remains that you received the Lord Jesus Christ. He lifted your burden away. That settles it. Aha, ukweli ni kwamba ulipompokea Kristo, akainua mizigo yako na wewe sasa uko huru na uko hapa. And so since we belong here and since God is using all of us. Kwa hivyo sababu sisi ni wa hapa na Mungu anatumia kila mmoja wetu. Whether you are young Uwe wewe ni mchanga, you're old, uwe ni mze, you are tall, uwe uwe ni mtol, you are short, uwe ni mshot, from whichever tribe you're coming from, he is using all of us yeah, to build a temple. Kila hili boma. And because he is using all of us, na ni na kila moja wetu. his desire is that we may occupy the seat we are sitting on and become owners of DCIK. Aha, Mungu atamani ya kwamba tukalie vilivyo hey. kitu umekalia ambia jirani yako bwana asifiwe ambia jirani yako ufanyike mwenyeji katika DCIK <laughs> mwambie jirani kaa vizuri hebu kaa vizuri you know when you go to a place where you are not welcome mtu kaaga at the edge of the seat wewe umai kwenda pahali unaogopa hata ukikama unakaaga ukiwa pembeni ya kiti 
But Ikatokea this, jambo wewe uko tayari kutoka kutoweka. But you know what? Lakin, we belong here. Lakini sisi ni wenyeji, tuna kwetu ni hapa. We are children of God and daughters in this house. Sisi ni watoto wake Mungu tenda wana katika hii And so just like I can go to my house na nikae chini na niwekele miguu kwa. Aha, jinsi tukifika nyumbani na za kasta na wekele miguu katika stool that is the same way you need to sit. Hivyo hivyo ndio unastahili kuketi hapa. What do I mean? Aha, na maanishaje? It means if you are an owner, you are not just a Sunday participant. Aha, basi sasa ukiwa wewe ni mwenyeji, wewe sio mtu wa kuonekana hapa Jumapili peke yake. You need to know all the programs that have been availed for your growth in this house. Unakubidi ukaelewa ni mipango gani imewekwa katika mipangilio if our father says there are cells aha baba yetu anaposema kunazo vikundi vya vya nyumbani ama vya cells then i have to look for that cell and belong Aha, itanibidi mimi nitafute ile cell na niwe mmoja wao. If mom says there are ladies group and they can help me grow. Mama yetu anaposema ya kwamba kuna vikundi vya wadada na itatusaidia kukua. Then I'll ensure I, and I'll enlist myself into the ladies Basi, group. Basi itakuwa ni jukumu yangu kuhakikisha niko katika kikundi fulani. When I hear there's something called bolts and nuts and people are being transformed. Aha, <laughs> nikisikia kunayo uh, seminar ama wa then I'll already enlist myself because I desire to grow. Basi nitakuwa pale nimejiadikisha ili niweze kushiriki niweze kukua. In other words an owner gets involved. Aha kwa maana kwa majina mengi na maneno chache ni ya kwamba ukiwa ni mwenyeji unahusika. You don't sit at the edge of a seat. Ah na ukai kama unataka kutoroka praise the name of jesus amen an owner will look at the things that are happening and some may not be very pleasant to you but you will bring in your input so that an improvement can be realized ukiwa wewe ni mwenyeji utaangalia na na utafakari mambo ambayo inaendelea ukaona hayafai unaleta jawabu na we mwenyewe unashiriki kuleta jawabu katika ile jambo because this is your home sababu hapa ni nyumbani and you want the best of it na unatamani nyumbani kuwe pahali pazuri praise the name of the lord amen my my daughter normally loves telling me mom si tugeuze hizi viti zimekaa hivi sana si sasa tuzigeuze ziangalie hivi itakuwa smart at least for this season mhm Praise the name of the Lord Amen. because she is a daughter in the house she wants to see changes in the house from time Huyo ni binti katika nyumba anataka tubadilishe viti zimekaa zimeangalia pande moja sana na zikabadilishwa zitaleta mabadilisho katika nyumba na watafurahia sababu ya ni binti She might go out and find an item that will look nice in the house and if she has her savings she will purchase it and bring it home Aha anaweza toka kwa nyumba na anapotembea mtaani akapata hanging ambayo ni mzuri na ako na savings ananunua na analete nyumbani sababu yeye ni mwana katika nyumba This is their home sababu hii boma ni lao and that is the same thing with you na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo na wewe i believe if you walk to mom and told her why what about us starting this ministry to take care of this kind of people believe you me she will be excited aha huh? na ni hivyo hivyo hata wewe labda kuna hiyo huduma unaona inastahili kuwa imeanzishwa tembea muone mama mwambie mimi natamani Ninafikiria tungeanza hii huduma itasaidia hapa na pale na mimi naamini ya kwamba atakukaribisha na atasaidia so belong kwa hivyo wewe be an owner ehe ukue mwenyeji number two. ya pili when you belong you feel valued unapokuwa wa jamii unajisikia unadhaminiwa you feel valued unapewa dhamana unwe ni dhamana why because the ideas you have you're not keeping them to yourself you bring them and we are able to embrace them and implement them right in this house ni sababu mambo ambayo iko katika mawazo yako ya unayaleta katika boma na jamii na tunaweza kuyatendeza kazi you belong to the smaller groups your needs are catered for you feel valued aha wewe uko katika sela ama hiyo prayer group ya wadada unayo shida imeshughulika 
will be very difficult for us to hear you say, I went through this trouble and nobody came. There were not even pastors who came. There is no, uh, I don't know who, who didn't come. You know, because you belong. Aha. Ukawa ukona haja na unahitaji watu kusimama na wewe. Wewe sio moja ala watasema, ah, pastor hata hakuja. Hata dada fulani hakuja. Ni sababu kikudi chenu, hata kanisa lote ni kikataa kuja. Kikudi chako kitakuwa, seli yako itakuwa, na hiyo group ingine unakuwaga. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You are well catered for. Yani we umeshugulikiwa vilivyo. I've heard of people saying, I get this tribalism. They, they only are able to cater for people from this tribe. Uh-huh. Many times I sit back um, and wonder. Now at that time when I'm hearing that, this person that is talking to me comes from my community. And you know, I remember the times I've gone through stuff and the support I have gotten in this place. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. For you to feel your value, to feel your cared for. Wewe kujihisi ni wadhamana na umepewa wadhamana. Belong. Butafadhali upate kikundi na ukae pale. Number three. Ya tatu. To belong is to feel like you are contributing to something that makes a difference. Kuwa wajami ni kwamba wewe unajihisi ni waile jami. Tena unalete mambo mezani ambao inabadilisha na kusaidia ile jami. I think I'd even explained that. Contribute. Mm-hmm. Unalete mambo ambayo itasaidia ile jamii. Now how then are you going to belong? Na je sasa utakuwa wa kikundi aje? If you want to feel included, how do you start belonging? Aha, we unataka kujihisi kama ni wa jamii, utaanza wapi? Number one, be here. Ya kwanza ukue hapa. Be where action is happening. We ukue pahali, action iko. <laughs> action is happening in the DOIs. Aha. Action is happening in the ladies groups. Mambo inatendeka katika mikutano yetu ya DOI na inatendeka katika vikundi vyetu vya wadada. Be found available. Tafadhali kuwa pale. Yes, I know Saturdays we are doing laundry and everything that any other woman would wants to do, but it's only one Saturday in a month. Aha, ninaelewa kwamba Jumamosi ndio tunafanya tunafanya mambo mengi tunaenda soko tunafaosha, lakini tena kumbuka ni Jumamosi moja tu katika mwezi. So be available. Tafadhali patikana. And you cannot belong on social media. Na wewe wewe kuwa tu wewe ni fellowship kwa WhatsApp. Ati mimi ni wa WhatsApp group. Ati wewe unachangiaga tu kwa WhatsApp. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Be available. Tafadhali patikana. The Bible tells us in uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Katika wa Hebrew nia 10 25 kuendelea. That we should not forsake that habit of meeting together. Ya kwamba tunahita tusikose kukutanika pamoja. As some of the people are doing. Kama be available because when you're available you receive your blessing the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 where two or three are gathered in my name I am in their midst and you know our ladies groups and the DOI meetings we are more than two or three. And we are meeting in his name. So that is enough reason why he should come because he watches his word to perform it. Realize he did not say where one is praying loudly in their closet only. Aha, kumbuka Yesu hakusema pahali mmoja anapiga kelele anaomba kwa sauti kubwa akiwa peke yake. There is the place of prayer and it is indicated in Matthew 7:7. 7, 7. Ask and it shall be given you. Tunayo sehemu ya maombi kama Mathayo 7:7 vile imenakiri. 
But Akini, there is also a major place where two or three people are gathering in agreement. Kuna pahali pazuri zaidi, pahali wawili, that is the place where you will bind and things will be bound. <laughs> you will lose and others will be Pale mambo. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So be where action is. Tafadhali patikana pahali action is. Pahali action inatendeka. Number 2. Contribute like I have said. Don't not only be there and you're quiet and uh, like passive but be there and number 2 contribute. We usiwe tu uko pale kazi yako ni kusikiza na kutazama lakini uwe pale unaongea tena unapeana mambo. Do something. Mambo unatenda jambo. In the ladies group do something. Katika kikundi cha wadada tenda jambo. It might just be uh, requesting the coordinator that you may do the closing prayer. Aha. Uh-huh. Na ukiona coordinator amesahau wewe hujaomba kwa muda mrefu na muomba tu leo tumekutana tafadhali naweza kuomba maombi ya kufunga. Or it may be just sharing a testimony. Ama uko na, na, na jambo Mungu amekutendea unataka kushuhudia. It might be meeting a need of another lady in that group. Inawezekana kunaye mmoja wetu ana haja na unasaidia ama unamkumbusha tunaweza kumtembelea dada fulani ama kuhusika. What we are saying is do something. Tafadhali tenda jambo don't be passive usikuwe tu pale number, number 3 buy in buy into the vision of the church and the mission tafadhali uh, jiingize na ujihusishe na maono ya kanisa na hata ile kazi ya umishionari let look for 18 be your portion aha luka 4 na iwe sehemu yako that because the spirit of the lord is upon you sababu roho wa bwana yu juu yangu you will be able to say like jesus said utaweza kusema kama vile yesu alivyosema that he has anointed me ya kwamba amenitilia mafuta to do the five things that triple h was giving us in the morning kufanya mambo matano ambayo tulipewa na triple h asubuhi Give us Luke chapter 4 verse 18. We are winding up now. You should be found at least engaging in those things. He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. Aha, nimepakwa mafuta ili niweze kutangaza habari jema kwa wale ambao nimasikia. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Aha, nitangaze kufunguliwa kwa wafungwa and recovery of sight to the blind. Ya kwamba vipofu waweza kupokea kuona to set the oppressed free na kufungua walio finyiliwa and to proclaim the ear of the Lord favor. Be found at least doing one of those things at any specific time. And you'll be able to say I'm totally sold out to the vision of DCIK and to the great commission. Na utaweza kusema mimi nimejipea na kabisa katika maono ya DCIK tena katika ule wa mzikubwa wa Yesu aliyotupatia alipoenda mbinguni. And as I conclude John Ninap- chapter 20 verse 21. Ninapomalizia John 20:21. Yohana 20:21. This was Jesus speaking to the disciples. Yesu mwenyewe akinenea mitume. Again, the Bible says again Jesus said. Tena Yesu akasema, Peace be with you. Amani iwe nanyi. As the Father has sent me. Kama vile Baba alivyonituma, I am sending you. Na watuma ninyi. I believe Bishop came here based on this scripture. Mimi naamini uh, wakati uh, Bishop alianzisha hii huduma alitumia hilo andiko. The father sent Jesus and Jesus sent him. Vile Yesu alitumwa na baba wa mbinguni naye Yesu akamtuma askofu. And today if you are a part of this family. Na leo ikiwa wewe ni sehemu ya hii jamii. What he would say, I know he is not here but what he would say is as Jesus sent me. Ah, so yuko hapa lakini naamini hivi ndivyo angesema kama vile Yesu alivyonituma 
Ndivyo nami na watuma. He is sending us to go and transform lives. Atutuma ili tuweze kubadilisha maisha. Maybe you're here. Na inawezekana uko miongoni mwetu, but you're not a part of any fellowship. Lakini wewe hauko katika aseli yoyote. You always have all the excuses that can be found. Wewe unakuwa na visababu vyote vya vya kufanya usihudhurie huo ushirika. My prayer today is that you will strip yourself of all those excuses. Naomba ya kwamba utajiondoa katika zile visababu so that you can reap of the full benefits of being a a family member. Ili uweze kupata ile faida ya kuwa mtoto ama mwenye mtu wa jamii. Belong to a cell tafadhali tafuta cell na uwe wa ile cell belong to a ladies group tafadhali ikiwa wewe hauko kwa ladies prayer group uingie moja you will find yourself growing utajipata pale unakuwa na unakuzwa what i am today vile nilivyo leo happened in a home cell ilitendeka katika home cell i was never a worship leader mimi sikuwa mtu wa wa worship my parents were not prophets na mazazi wangu hata hawakuwa manabii neither were they worship leaders ne na hata hawakuwa naongoza ibada but there is somebody as i was growing in a cell lakini kuna mtu nilipokuwa naendea kukua katika ushirika who identified abaya aligundua and pushed me so that the gifting could come out na akanisukumia ili ile kipawa iweze kutokezea including sharing of the word hata kuhusisha na kushiriki katika neno remember many times i'd be told to share the word mara mingi ningeambiwa ni shiriki neno and i'd always share from ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1 na mimi ningeshiriki ya ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1 ezekiel 3 verse that was always and i'd read it and leave it there it says son of man eat this scroll <laughs> He said to me son ilikuwa message yake kila siku son of man eat what is before you eat this scroll then go and speak to the people of Israel hiyo ndio ilikuwa ka message yake and I'd read it and then nina kwamba hapo I cannot share anything anymore but you know what as days went by nilikuwa nasoma naliachia pale na kwama pale lakini siku zilizopozidi kuendelea i didn't know i'm eating the scroll for real aha sikujua kumbe ni mimi najiambia ni kule scroll na nikaikula but it happened in a cell na lakini litendeka katika ushirika wa nyumbani and today i am here na leo niko hapa praise the name of jesus amen and maybe you're here na inawezekana uko miongoni mwetu and you're not born again na hata hujaokoka you in the right place uko na pahali uko pahali panapofaa the best place to be this evening pahali ambapo panapaa jioni ya leo you can receive the lord jesus unaweza kumpokea yesu kristo with every eye closed na naomba kila jicho lifungwe if you're there just lift your hand You can be born to this family this day. Inua mkono wako na unaweza kuzaliwa katika jamii ya Yesu jioni ya leo. Remember Jesus loves you so much. Na ukumbuke Yesu anakupenda sana. Even if you were to be the only one on earth you'd have died for you on the cross. Hata ingekuwa ni wewe peke yako ulimwenguni angefariki msalabani kwa ajili yako. Are you there? Uko pale. Are you there? You were born again but you went back. Uko pale ule unajielewa ulikuwa umeokoka lakini unajua kweli umerudi nyuma. And you want to rededicate your life to Christ. Na ungetaka utamani kutoa maisha yako kwa Yesu. Are you there? Uko pale. Father in the name of Jesus we Baba, are grateful. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunashukuru. Thank you Lord for ministering to us today. Asante Yesu kwa kuhudumia kuhudumia leo. Lord I thank you because of this word that you had given me. Yes, asante kwa neno ambalo nilipatia. I've given it the way you gave it Lord. Nimeipatiana vile ulinipea. I pray that my dear sisters will seek a sense of belonging. Naomba yako dada wa dada zangu watatafuta namna ya kuwa wanashirikishwa katika vikundi vidogo. They may be able to maximize on the benefits. Ili waweze kufaidika zaidi. May you bless them abundantly. Uwabariki zaidi. May you lift them to higher heights. Wainue zaidi. In the name of Jesus. So I release them to you God. Do your work in their lives. And in my life too. Katika maisha yangu. In Jesus name I pray. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeomba. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, bless you richly.